Okay, family, I am at LF Conte Trading Limited, and uh, this is the place to come to get your doors, okay? Your internal and external doors. It's a Gambian owned company, so let's support the Gambians and let's support them by, you know, trading with them, doing business with them, and uh, supporting their businesses, okay? Greetings, greetings family, Sister Shanice here and uh, it's another wonderful day here in the Gambia and I've got a business owner that I'd like to introduce you all to. Okay, uh, I happen to be uh, coming down to Brusseby and whilst here I've come across a shop that is selling the most wonderful, wonderful doors and uh, let me introduce you to the owner of the store. Here we go. Okay, family, I'm going to introduce you to the proprietor of this wonderful store, and uh, his name is Lamin. Lamin, uh, please introduce yourself to uh, the Sister Shanice Show audience. Thank you very much, Shanice. I've got a little bit cold, so uh, yeah. Uh, yes, That's my okay. Name, yeah, cool. uh, my name is Lamin uh, Conte. I'm from uh, Gambia Original. But I've lived in England for uh, 22 years and then last year I've decided to come back to Gambia to open like a door store, like selling imported doors from Turkey. So we started this business like back in October last year mm. and then bringing quality uh, doors all the way from Turkey. Because um, majority of the doors in Gambia here, majority are like uh, made in China and then the quality is so bad. So you can get a door, you can buy a door today and then three months down the road, the doors start falling apart. Wow, sounds and like Chinese goods for you. <laughs> exactly, yes. I've come up with, like, with this idea to bring something good for our people, yes. uh, better value for money, and then because they deserve it. Because, Absolutely. Yeah, they build like houses worth about maybe two million dollars or so three million dollars. Mm. So imagine having to spend all that much money on like a beautiful house but the door is not good mm. so that's why we come up with this idea to introduce something more better quality and then for our people yeah well done to you lamin yeah. you know for firstly deciding to leave the ukkk behind yeah. <laughs> and to come back home exactly. and to set up business here in the gambia offering good quality mm -hmm. you know doors for your people and i know that uh, your long-term vision mm -hmm. is to actually um, be making the doors yourself yeah. mm -hmm. and to open up a workshop so people can get the training yeah, exactly. and creating jobs and opportunities for people here. I mean, just share a bit more of that vision for us, please. With yeah, the, uh, the reason I have for, um, I'm planning, hopefully, if everything goes well in the next maybe three to four years, is to employ more people because so far we've em I've employed about eight people. Brilliant. And then as we progress, I'll be employing more people and then hopefully in the next one to two years, I can easily employ 50 to 100 people. Wow. And then whereby we'll do all the assembly here in the Gambia and yes. then create more jobs for the local people. You know, because that's what we need in Africa. We need to change the narrative. And then in order to do that, we need to create jobs. So our people, you know, because a lot of youngsters are dying on the Atlantic. Yes. Thinking if you go to places like Europe, you just have to go and then uh, it's like a gold, you know, and it doesn't work like that. Not at all. I've spent like close to 20 to 23 years in England and I know how hard it is yes. to make money because you have to pay your bills, electricity bills, water mm -hmm. bills, you know, uh, all that bills, credit cards, phone bills, whereby in Gambia or in Africa it's completely different. Mm -hmm. Once you build your house, you don't have to pay all that, you know, bills or you can power everything by solar or you know That's so right. yeah so this is our long-term plan my long-term plan is to create more jobs for, for our people so that they don't have to go to europe to hustle because i believe we can make it here in africa we have yes. all the opportunities and then we have we have everything in here yes. we don't need to go to europe just to to to, to make money you know so 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 this is our long-term vision 
Oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. <laughs> we need more lamins. <laughs> we need Thank more lamins you. indeed. And, uh, you know, the fact that your vision is, mm -hmm. and I can hear where your heart is at as well, yeah. is about creating jobs and opportunities mm -hmm. for your own people as well, as well as offering good quality products, yeah. you know, that's so, so important mm -hmm. because here in the Gambia and uh, most of Africa, we've got a lot of Chinese produces, we've got a lot of Indian exactly. products that are on mm -hmm. sale here, and as you say, the quality is so poor, mm -hmm. so poor, our people end up, you know, spending two, three times yeah. on the same product, mm -hmm. yeah, because the quality is so poor, so we need mm -hmm. definitely people like yourself that's going to be, you know, initially important if that's needed, but if, then ultimately... Yeah you know, doing the, the building, uh, the construction of the products product. here yeah. on the Gambia. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. So, you know, you spent 22 years in the UK, mm -hmm. so you have a lot of experience of England. Yeah. And uh, you're obviously Gambian mm -hmm. by birth and you're back here. Yeah. Uh, what would your message be to, you know, the young Gambians that are risking their lives to go through the deserts and to cross the Mediterranean in yeah. the hope that they will be lucky enough to, to, um, you know, find a job mm -hmm. or to make a life for themselves in, in Europe and not, you know, be returned mm -hmm. like a lot of them are mm -hmm. once they get there. What, what would your advice to them be? What I would advise them is to, um, to, to, to forget about that pathway thing because nothing easy comes easy in life. <coughs> we have to work hard for it. Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't mean that if you go to Europe, you just go and then it's like a tree of money or whatever, you just go and cut it. It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. You have to work very, very hard. If you don't work hard, you're going to end up you know, sleeping on uh, the street, yes. on the roads. And it's not good because over there, it's very, very, very cold. Mm -hmm. And then we are lucky in Gambia, you can sleep even outside. You would never get freeze to yeah. death. Yeah. But over there, you can easily get freeze to death or you if, if lucky you can even they can even kill you mm. because we don't mean a lot to those people mm -hmm. and then um, I think it's about time for us to mm -hmm. change the narrative yes. that we in Africa here we can uh, we can we can do a lot of things in, yes. in, in Africa here and then in Africa we have Chinese people we have People from um, Lebanon, like from Lebanese people, mm -hmm. and then Chinese people, Indian people, they make their millions here right. in Africa. Yeah. And I believe it's about time for us to come back to Africa and then we change everything because this is our people. Only us Africans can change Africa. Africa will never be changed by Europeans or Chinese or all those things is just like sweet talk just to make us to believe that you know they can change or they can give us like a better life. Mm. It will never happen. Mm -hmm. So it's about time we come back and then we, 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 you know, we take things like this is our continent. It's our responsibility to work here and then to change things. You know? And then I believe if we have, what it, because the European, it takes them hundreds of years for them to change uh, Europe That's to right. where Europe is now. And I believe we can do the same for Africa. And then in the next 10 to 5 years, Africa will be something else. Absolutely yeah, agree yeah. with you. Yeah. Absolutely agree. Yeah. You know, Africa has everything that yeah. she needs mm -hmm. to make her great. Yeah. And as you say, we see the Chinese come and uh, become millionaires. We see the Indians come and become millionaires. Exactly. We need to see the opportunities here for ourselves and have our own people yeah. be mm -hmm. the millionaires because we're going to put our money back into the country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, those from other nations, they come and they take the money out. They, exactly. they bank in their own banks back yep. home. Yep. They bank in the bank uh, for China, the Bank of India. It, so it, Africa doesn't benefit at all, uh, or yep. you know, hardly benefits mm -hmm. uh, from you know foreign uh, business entre uh, uh, entrepreneurs here. It, it, yeah. it, exactly, because mm. you'll be surprised. Um, I because I've been in Gambia like one year now, yes. and then I do talk to a lot of businessmen, like foreign businessmen, and right. then some of these people, the sales that they make, they are weekly sales. Every week, by the end of the week, they will change it from Dalasi to, to dollar, mm. and then they will send it to yeah. India or to Lebanon. Yeah. So nothing stays in this country. Yeah. Everything goes back to 
their yeah, country. Right. So to benefit like, their country uh, 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 and uh, uh, obviously to the detriment uh, uh, of Gambia. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So it's a false notion to mm -hmm. think that you know foreign investment is going to benefit and develop your country. No. Uh, the only ones who are going to develop Africa is going to be the Africans themselves. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well done to you for you know taking the initiative to come and open Thank up you your your door <laughs> store. Let's take a little walk around and and show us some of the doors that sure. you've got. Yeah, yep. here uh, in your business. Right. So that one here uh -huh. uh, is a kitchen door. Right. The glass panel on top. So we can use this one for um, kitchen uh -huh. or like a dining. So and. Uh, so this one here. Uh huh. And this one here, it's uh, this one is a bedroom door. Oh okay. It's a new design, 2020 design. Yes. And then all our doors, uh, they comes with like the door panel, like a door lift, and then skirting and frame, locks, mm -hmm. keys, hinges. Close we do the installation as well. Oh, so, fantastic! So, yeah, so everything is kind of like included. Yeah. You know, and that one, this one here yeah, is American panel door. Okay. And then again, yeah, we've got these sort of doors in the UK as brilliant. well. Yeah, they're oh. very uh, popular in England. Yeah. yeah. So it's door again, door leaf, locks, pinches, okay. uh, scartings, architraves, and then frame. Fantastic. So and uh, they're metal inside most of your doors as well, uh, aren't yes, they? Yes, the security doors. Okay, downstairs. let's have a look at the security doors yeah. downstairs, shall we? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, take a look at uh, the doors that you've got here. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. These are front doors for the yeah, front of the house. Front, front doors, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so we've got one here, 127. Uh, this one here, it's a front door, uh -huh. front security door. So uh, back it's made of complete steel, like metal. Yes. And then inside, this one is like a wooden effect, but inside it's made of complete steel. Right. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, again it comes with locks. It comes with a double lock, so you can lock here and then there. Uh -huh. and it comes with a tiny one of them. Spy hole. Spy holes, yeah. Yeah. And we have to lock it. Yes, uh -huh, uh -huh. And very heavy doors because each of these doors easily weigh about uh, 80 to 90 kilos. Wow, and 80 to 90 heavy, kilos. Yes. So yeah. you need about 10 grown up, maybe 8 grown up names to lift them. Just to them. lift that Just door. To, yes. so wow. Very, very, yeah. very secure very door secure. indeed. Yeah. No, that's right. Yeah, I've never seen them in England either. This one here is a bathroom door. Uh huh. It's made of UPVC material, so it's oh, okay. complete water resistance. Uh -huh. And you have a glass panel, a frosted glass panel. So if you are inside, if you put the light on, people would know somebody is inside. Yes. But they wouldn't be able to see you. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. very uh, heavy door, again, it weighs more than 40 kg. Mm. So it's a very yeah, heavy door. Wow. Yeah. These are bathroom doors. And then yeah. this other side, these are all. These are interior doors. Yes. Interior doors. Uh, again, all of doors they can be So you don't have this to buy This door is yeah. so nice. It's yeah. so special. I yeah. love this one. Wow. <laughs> okay, so tell us about this interior door. Do the interior doors have steel frames as well? Uh, the interior doors, no, they don't come with a steel frame. Uh -huh. The only ones that come with a steel frame are the security doors, yeah. like the main entry door. But all the internal doors, they're just like wooden, like MDF wooden doors. Yeah. And this is another beautiful exterior door. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is for like men and female. And again, they all come with like six keys. Yeah. So you can, so each, uh, yeah, each lock comes with three. So that one goes inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Then, beautiful, another beautiful yeah, door. Yeah. And then this Good taste. So you you select which doors you're importing, display. yeah? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Good taste. Yeah, yeah. Good taste. And again, this is another exterior door. Uh -huh. yeah, another beautiful door. So yes. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. These are all exterior doors. So we do different different doors and uh -huh. we do different models too. Yeah. Yes, yes. So at any given time we have about at least um, 10 to 15 different models mm -hmm. that you can choose from. Because we, we don't want customers to come 
and then thinking, oh, this is what you know, this is what we want, and you don't, we don't have it in stock. Yes. So always, we always have those different doors in stock. So you will never come to LF content trading without selecting a door. Very rarely. So you always come here, you will find a door here. Right. <laughs> and if you need 10, 15, you you'll have, have them in yeah, stock. You can. Yeah. Wonderful. I this love place, this place. Yeah, so well. uh, this is just our soul. Yes. Because we have a warehouse as well. Yes. In Profut, which is about 10 minutes drive, where we store all our doors. Wonderful, so this wonderful. Is just to display, yeah. And it uh, looks like you're going into bathroom yes, uh, we cabinets do bathroom as well. Cabinets as well. Uh huh. Cabinets, yeah. Sinks we and, and sinks. cabinets. Uh huh. It comes with a whole uh, sinks with the sink, mm -hmm. cupboards, and then the top. So the only thing it doesn't need is just the tub. The tub. Because people yeah. have different taste when it comes to tubs. Yes. Some would prefer a silver one, some gold. So yeah, we do bathrooms. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Bathroom. Okay, so. Yeah. Tell us again the name of the company right. and uh, where they can find you. Right, the name of the company is LF Contact Trading. Say that again, get L louder. LF Contact Trading. So it's Lima, Foxtrot, and Trading, and then Limited. Yeah, so you can find us in Bruceby, not far from the Bruceby uh, Police Station. It's only two minutes drive from the turn table, the famous Bruceby turn table, to where we are. And it's only two minutes walk from where we are to the Bristol Police Station. So if you ask people, if you want to come to LF Conduct Trading, you can ask people where the turntable is. It's only two minutes drive. So we look forward to seeing you guys to LF Conduct Trading. Oh, Thank fantastic. you very much. <laughs> Thank you too. Well done. Great job. Great Thank job. You. Thank you. That's good. I mean, it was good in this room from the last one, remember? Just finish. Yeah.